Um, yeah, lots of strange things happen day to day on a Harry Potter film set, you know, from, from strange stunts being done to all sorts of potions and spells. So, yeah, you, you kind of get used to the abnormalities of, of, uh, of filming on Harry Potter, but I don't know, it's always strange things to see, to see guys wired up and literally sort of dragged 30 feet in the air before your eyes. So, yeah, uh, again, very hard to pick one thing. There's, there's endless amounts of very strange things that happen day to day. <laughs> Yeah, it's very hard for me to pick like one film, I think, out of the bunch that really kind of stands out. Um, I think they've kind of got better as they've gone on, personally. I'm a massive fan of the second one for some reason. Something about a chamber of secrets that kind of allures me. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed Deathly Hallows Part 1, and obviously I'm, I'm endlessly excited about Part 2. No, I definitely reveled in playing the bad guy. I have no interest in playing the, the one of the good guys in Harry Potter. I was, I know it's kind of a bit of both. I was kind of lonely as the only, the only sort of villain amongst the school guys, but equally, yeah, it's kind of nice because I get to stood by myself. And uh, yeah, Draco never got any love interest. That was the only downfall of being, being one of the one of the negative characters. But no, I generally enjoyed it. <laughs> I wanted to keep so many props and bits and pieces from the set, but they were quite tight in what they let out. Um, I wanted a nimbus, I wanted a broomstick, a, a, a wand, a cape. Uh, unfortunately, none of those things they let us have. Um, I managed to get away with, with, with a ring, with one of Draco's rings, uh, along with his tie pin that he had. Um, other than that, I think it's all going to museums and stuff like that, which is probably a good thing, better than, better than my attic.